I think that in this sense, you know, the appearance, the appear my appearance helped me um, because if you if I was like a drooling, senseless maniac, Michael's character would never have wanted to be my friend and would never have wanted to go out and have that first drink at the bar that led to his downfall. Um, so in that sense, it's, it, it, it works. But there are other roles that I probably will never get because of the way I look. Again, it's something that, that, that I was born this way and, and you know, I, don't, I can't really spend a lot of time thinking about it one way or another. What sort of roles would you really like to get your teeth into in the next however many years? Well, I think that the bad influence opened um, some doors for me that uh, people might not have thought of. I know a lot of people didn't understand why I was doing it within the industry. How, the heck, how can he play this? How can he do this? And then when the reviews came out, of course, now everybody wants me to play these sort of dark, gritty, hard-edged, tough... You know, I'd never held a gun in my hand in a film in 11 movies. Now, for, for, for a leading man, that's, I mean, that, when you think about it, it's very amazing. I mean, um, that's not what they picture. They picture me with a woman in my arms, not a gun. Not that I'm sitting out to be Rambo or, you know, to do Die Hard 3 or anything like that, but the point being that it, it opens up a, a, a little different side of me. Again, you know, I'm, I started movies when I was 18. Uh, I'm 26 now. So it's a natural progression. I'm just, you know, growing into, uh, I'm just maturing. Now we have to talk about this Atlanta incident. And given the fact that you were involved in the incident relating to the making of a pornographic movie involving an underage girl a couple of years ago, why would you then go ahead and make a movie that mirrored that experience? Well, first of all, I, I would like to say this before I answer that. I think that what people do in their private lives between consenting people is, is their private life. Um, and uh, while not condoning anyone's actions at all, I think it's a statement to live by for everybody. I think that the media, it's unfortunate that um, the media feels that because you're a public figure, then you're therefore open to some sort of double standard. You know, um, what people do behind closed doors should be their business. With that said, um, I think that as far as the film, you know, I wanted to address it head on, you know. Um, I have, I think the, the movie really deals with morality and what really is morality. Do, um, who's to say what is moral? Is, is your version of morality what I should live by? Is my version what you should live by? Is, you know, is God's version what we should live by? I mean, in today's society, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I would wonder if anyone knows. But these are the issues. One of, I mean, it's a very, this is a very s subtly woven into the film. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a lecture. But yet it's something that very much interests me, you know. Um, and also, there, people are so... There's such a premium, especially, not so much, I don't think, here in Australia, which is one of the reasons I seem to like it here. I've only been here two days, but definitely back in the States, there is very much a premium on being perfect. Um, the perfect car, the perfect life, the perfect, I don't know, the perfect everything, and oh, I would never do this, and I would never do that. Well, you show me somebody who's lived a perfect life and I'll show you a dullard. I, I, I have no interest in being perfect. I try, I would like, uh, you know, you want to live your life as fully as you can and you'll make mistakes. Making mistakes is part of being human. If you don't make a mistake, I don't, I don't know what you are, but it's not human. Interesting. And uh, Bad Influence starring Rob Lowe and James Spader opened around Australia last Thursday. Not a bad movie. However you stay with us, we'll be back after these messages.